Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video we will learn about animation track which is very important feature of timeline and uh, for animation track you should select a uh, uh, object and it should have uh, the animator controller. Okay, so it's very important for creating the animation track. So let's create an animation track. So we'll just create a empty object. We will just uh, rename this to timeline or any other name you can assign and after that we can just click on this create and then in timeline you'll we'll just name it animation track or whatever name you can assign now we'll add some characters for our project so that we can uh, manipulate with that characters also for the timeline i will just click here to lock this timeline feature and now we'll just go to zombie and we have this vampire character let's add this character to our scene and now you can see that character is added but it has the uh, texture problem so we'll just add the texture and now you can see we have a nice vampire over here okay so for this vampire what we will do we'll just uh, add this vampire here in timeline and we'll create a animation track so it is very important that your vampire should be uh, should have animator controller and for that purpose you should have selected the vampire as a humanoid okay initially whenever you will import asset from mixamo it will not be humanoid it will be generic you have to convert it to humanoid because we want to apply the humanoid animations for the animations itself you will select all the animations and will convert that animation to humanoid for the textures you will select the character and you will go to animation and you will uh, sorry material and you will extract the textures as well so now for this uh, purpose we have added our first character definitely we can uh, uh, we can fine-tune these positions as well later uh, as well later on so don't we worry about this so we'll just uh, move further so let's go to timeline and we'll add our animation so let's uh, go to I will just place this project here and uh, let's go to this section and we have certain animations first animation we want to add is the crawl animation so we have a, this crawl animation let's add this animation over here okay for the vampire and now you will see that if you play the animation you will, you can see that our character is crawling on the ground okay so that's great after crawling when he will reach at this position we will start biting so our character will bite something so before that we'll just play some another character for biting so we'll just go to character and i'll just place this character over here also i will just uh, rotate it uh, to that side maybe 90 degree and also to that side 90 degree and now we'll select this character and i'll just add this character over here so that our uh, vampire should eat this should bite this character okay so we'll just place this character over here and for this character we will not use the timeline feature we will directly use a animator controller i have created a animator controller of sleeping if you click on this animator controller you can see that this animator controller has only one animation which is laying a uh, vomiting which uh, is this animation actually uh, okay uh, just laying and vomiting animation you can add any other animation as well if you want to do if you want to do so but for our purpose it is fine and uh, now at this stage our vampire will start biting so we'll just go to project and uh, we will have a uh, in zoobies we have a biting animation so let's extract this animation and let's add it here so now if we add it here you can see that if we move further you can see it start biting but the position is changed from uh, to 0 uh, 0 0 axis again okay so for fixing the position we will just uh, fix these positions so first of all I will just uh, go to this stage which is the beginning and uh, 
uh, at this spot we will just right click on this track and we will add our right track so for our right track if we click here we can record the position so now we will select the member and we will just go to inspector and we will record the position I will just make it 1 and again we will make it 0 so now the position is recorded at this point ok so now we will just move uh, further and uh, we will just move to this stage and we will change the position so at this stage we will just move it like this ok and now for this biting animation definitely we will just move it a little bit more like this and uh, yeah like this and also on the ground like this ok so that's great and if we move back to this point we should move this uh, character a little bit in on the ground like this ok and also if we move back to our original position the character should be on ground if you want to do so you can fix the its uh, footsteps I am not uh, fixing this uh, accurately but uh, uh, you can do so ok so now if we play the animation you can see that it will start moving crawling and then it will reach the character and it will start biting the character ok that's great after the biting animation we want to add some another animation so if when you will reach at this stage we will start another animation so for that purpose we will just uh, add this screaming animation let's add it here it will start screaming but for the screaming position uh, ok we will not fix uh, we will just uh, use the same position and uh, again we will add another screaming animation which is a little bit different like this ok and after that we want to walk our character so we will just add this walk animation now and sorry again ok so we will just add it here ok the walk animation and now our character will start walking but for the walking we will just adjust the first position here so we will just go to inspector and uh, vampire we will just move it to 1 and 0 again so now our position is recorded at this spot also I will just uh, we can just add some uh, more walking animation so that uh, Mm, for the better sequence ok so now when we will move uh, to this spot we our vampire should be at this point maybe ok so let's see how it will look like so uh, now if we move here uh, let's play timeline it starts screaming and then it will start walking so now you can see that it's walking like this ok and after walking we want to run our character so we also have run animation so we have this one here and we will just add this run animation so again at this point definitely run animation is very small so we can just uh, add run animation multiple times ok so repeat the for repeating the sequence so like this ok and now you can see that it will run at this point you can see run but for this point we will just uh, come to this stage and uh, we will just move this vampire to the next level like this so now you will see that if we play the animation you can see it will start walking and then it will start running ok like this which is great and running is great but uh, we also have one another character here uh, which will run again after uh, when he will saw this uh, zombie enemy it will start running again so for that purpose I will just uh, add this 
maybe here okay just for uh, creating the interaction and let's go to characters let's add one character here maybe this kaya character let's add it here and also whenever you will add some character to your uh, scene uh, it will when you will add it to timeline it will change its position okay so uh, we have to fix that thing as well so for uh, this stage uh, before that uh, making this we will just uh, uh, do one thing that uh, we will just uh, move back and uh, we will just uh, add some run animation little bit more run animations here for certain purpose because we want to run our character a little bit more so let's add these run animations again okay so that's great if uh, okay that's fine i think and uh, now we'll just move here and yeah you can see here it is and then for the for this point we will just select the vampire and uh, we'll move it a uh, little bit more maybe like this so let's see okay yeah so it's running like this till here okay that's good and now for this character we want to add some uh, animations for this character as, as well so this character is fine okay so this animation for this character is finalized now for this character the another one which is this kaya character we want a sitting animation so i think we should have sitting animation or not so okay let's move back characters and we have yeah we have sitting animation so let's add kaya first to our animator timeline add animation track okay and now in animation track we will add our sitting animation here definitely you can see that sitting animation is there but uh, the uh, problem is that he's sitting here at uh, the main point at 000, zero position we want to add it at this stage okay so for this purpose and the character uh, i will just check the character when he will start running okay when he will reach here we want to change the animation from sitting okay so i will just move this uh, make this sitting animation till here okay and uh, now we'll just uh, add another override for the kaya so let's add another right track and now we'll just record the position of this kaya and uh, let's uh, move to the basics okay we will just make it uh, n not recorded so now we'll just move to the first position and we'll just move this kaya select the kaya and uh, let's add it to this spot this is very big so i will just make it uh, like this maybe and then we'll just select the kaya move it and we'll just rotate it like this okay so initially kaya will be sitting here and when he will see the vampire is coming towards him it will start running okay so yeah so this is the kaya position okay so now if you will play the animation you can see the kaya is sitting and uh, when he will reach 
the vampire will reach to this stage the kaya will be afraid and he will also run away so at this spot we, we want another animation so also we will record the position here but before that i think we should move back to zombie and we'll just uh, add animation for this kaya so we'll just add this uh, screaming animation for the kaya as well so let's add this scream animation okay and now you will see that it will start screaming like this okay and you can see that we can manipulate it with the we, we will just add it a little bit back like this at this spot Kaya starts screaming okay and we also want to change the position as well so here we will record the same position which is the uh, for the Kaya which will be 1.53 maybe okay and now when we will just move to this stage okay at this position we will just move it like they move it okay we will just keep it here and a little bit of rotation okay so now you can see it will start screaming and then at this spot it will start running so let's go to running mode here it is so it will be here and we'll just start running so it will start running from at this spot and you can see it start running okay so we'll add multiple animation of running and uh, for that purpose we'll just add animations again and again so let's add the animations definitely you can duplicate the animation as well you can copy and paste the animations as well in the timeline itself if you want to do so but I am just uh, adding these animations over here okay so this one and then this one and then this one okay so now we have added these animations but we want to change the position as well so let's uh, select the kaya and we'll just move to another position here okay and at this spot the kaya should be at this position a little bit and a little bit of rotation as well then we will move further at this spot Kaya should be uh, should be here maybe and with a rotation as well okay and then we'll move further here we need Kaya should be here maybe okay and then again we'll move further and let's add go to the end and the kaya should be a little bit like this okay and he is running out from the zoom okay that's it so now let's uh, play the animation and let's see how it will look like so you can see zombie is coming walking and he was starting running and the kaya will also run from the zombie that's great so we have successfully added the run animation definitely you can add some other run animation for the dynamicity but for now uh, it is fine and that's it last thing we want to add the camera okay so as 
you know that cameras can be added uh, with activation track as well and we can switch uh, cameras as well as we signed the last video but uh, we can also create animation track for the camera as well okay so let's create animation track then uh, uh, for the camera and let's see how we'll, we can fix that so let's uh, add the animator controller on the camera first of all then we will just move this camera to this position and we'll just add the animation track and now we'll just uh, record the camera and we will just start recording the camera so the first position of the camera will be the uh, will be the first position so i will just uh, let's start uh, creating video from this side maybe okay so this will be the first position of the camera so we'll place this camera maybe okay maybe here okay at this spot and uh, we will just press control we will select the camera and we'll press control shift f to focus and now you can see that the first position of the camera is recorded okay now we'll just move further and uh, at this spot we'll just want to move the camera to another side and uh, for that purpose we'll select the camera and uh, we'll just come to this spot maybe okay maybe this spot okay and we'll press Control Shift F for the focus on this position. We will move further and at this step where the character is biting, we will just uh, set up the camera at uh, maybe this position. So select the camera, Control Shift F. We will move further and at this point, we will just zoom out the camera and we'll just select the camera control shift f definitely we'll move further and uh, at this spot screaming spot i think uh, we will just um, come to this stage like here we want to show the vampire in a better view and then we'll just press the control shift f for the focusing of the camera and then we'll move further and then it start walking okay so for the walking i think we'll just move a little bit more like this and we'll just add this camera here control shift f and then instantly we we want to rotate the camera to this side because we want to show that character as well okay so i will just add this camera here control shift f and then we will move the camera to this spot maybe Okay, you can see this spot is not clear, so we'll just record this spot. I think this is fine. Control Shift F, and then again we'll just move further, and we'll just record this side of the camera. Control Shift F, and then finally we'll just move further at this spot and we'll just zoom out a little bit control shift f so now the camera is also recorded uh, that's great we have successfully learned how we can use animation track for different type of animations and uh, also the camera effect so let's go to game view you can see maximize on game plays fine and now if you play the game you will see the whole uh, whole animation and i hope you will like that so you can see that 
is coming although you can see the position of this character is not fine uh, but you can see that vampire now screams and camera positioning also you can check that it's quite nice and uh, then it will just start running and he will start running again okay so that's great you can see and uh, for this character unfortunately it's not good so we'll just go to aj focus and we'll just uh, add no animator because uh, due to animation it's going inside ground so now you can see crawling biting and now it just stand out screaming and now it will again scream and now it will start walking although the walking speed you should fix walking speed and run speed and you can see that the that character is also running now that's great we have successfully learned about animation track and next video we will learn about sound tracks